Hello everybody, this is Nolan Cat here, and today I've got a bit of a different video. Today, instead, we are going to see how to make a base under the ground in Scrap Mechanic. This game has a ground, and normally, if you get under there, it's because you're going so fast, or something of the sorts, that you just get slammed through the ground, and then you fall, and then you get teleported back to the top. That's what normally happens. But today, we're going to get down there, and we're going to build a base down there. So, the device that you need to make this is pretty simple. You can start by just making a platform out of any block. Bring it into the sky. And then bring it down. Once you've brought it down, you can make a platform. Like so. And once you've made a platform, you can just put any seat you want on there. And just like this, now you can get under the ground. You can even hop out from under the ground over here. You can see what's going around, but there's more to do. And one thing is, you probably want to make a save of this creation, but if you notice, if we take it off the lift right now, and we grab it again, it's just from the bottom. Now, originally, or a long time ago, so I've heard, what you could do is just make this longer, and you can make it real long, and what you could do is when you grab it, it does that, right? So that's one thing you can do, but that doesn't necessarily always work sometimes. Occasionally, this won't work, depending on what it is, and especially if you want to make it a lot smaller, it won't work. In that case, goes to the center. Now what you can do is you can actually create something that goes down which will help it out in that it'll you can not make it as long and it will go to that instead. Or in this case just went to that, but in case you're ever having trouble getting it, try making something that goes down at least three blocks, maybe like five, and it can be very helpful. But using a device like this you can get under the ground. Once you're under the ground, you can actually go and hit the surface, build something down, and build yourself a base. This works in survival as well. Once you build this, you can make it longer, but you can also go to a place such as here and go down. And you can go even deeper into the depths. And you can go all the way to the very bottom if you'd like, although... It's not super useful unless you want to hide from your friends, which is a noble cause. So, if you make something, which seems that, for my experimenting, three down tends to work best, what you can do is you can come back up to the surface. That's the first step. Which we went quite far down. Did not realize we went four. Ow. That hurt. Oh, we actually didn't. Never mind. I'm. We went three. Okay. Ignore that. But you can also, for an easier way to get back up, this is the best way. Just do that. Just remember that pistons won't let you get you up. The pistons will happen is they'll push the seat into the sky, but they'll never come back down. That will not ever work. You have to do it like this. You have to use the lift. Now, we're going to quickly grab our thing and put it down again. We're going to bring it down. And once we're here, what you can do is the maneuver where... Oh, failed it. But you have to grab it, so let's go get that. Okay, I grabbed it, even though it's just exploded out. What we can now do is go down and place it down. Now this thing is completely under the ground because you, cause you can place lifts down here. But now we can just delete the creation. And now the surface, although you'd have to remove those seats first, which later I'll show you a trick on how you can remove stuff on the surface pretty easily. Now, if that wasn't there, which we can actually get rid of really easily. Ouch. That hurt. Well, no, it didn't. 
you understand what I mean. If we go up, we can get rid of this stuff just by going like this, this, and that. We can head back down, and now, if you have a friend online, you can just tell them to come to where you are, and they'll be confused because you're just under the map. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do under here just to make a nice base or other things that you can do. Of course, if we jump down, we'll just be taken back up. And then the very final thing, which I'm for this I'm going to pull out my own test vehicle, which is called Test 2. Test 2 is also is my saved way of getting down here. That's too far as you can see. Mine, without this, it doesn't work. Mine doesn't, at least. Not because mine's just bigger, but let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's head back down. Now... There is other things. We're just gonna drop this. Just gonna drop that into the void. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is if you, if your friends do get down here, if they do anything as sort of just break that, the entirety of your base will start falling, and then disappear onto the surface, which you obviously don't want that. So, I recommend adding multiple poles so they don't drop it. Now, we're going to go out and we're going to go see a pre-made base that I already, I've already made using the workshop creation. We're going to head over there. And once we make it there, I'm going to show you some things, some tips, especially like getting rid of stuff from the surface, which can help you from stopping your friends from using their own lift vehicle from getting to you. This will be pretty helpful. So, once we make it, which we appear to have made it. So we'll just get rid of this. Now we can remove this beacon. Here we are. This is for a later test. This shows that we're in the right spot. And then we're going to get ourselves test two again. So just going to place one of these down wherever that did not work. Place this down wherever it's available. We're gonna head down to a base that has a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more thing, or a little bit more of an interior. So we're just gonna probably bring that back up, or I mean we can probably take it. Although I don't know if I've got room for it. One sec, let me well, let me dispose of this. I'm gonna dispose of this so. See you guys once that's been taken care of. Okay, I've disposed of that. So now we've got this base hanging out under the ground. Here's a second pillar. This is the first one, which I extended on the top so we can see where it is. So now the first thing that we're just going to check out is a simple elevator, which they're useful, especially if you want to have multiple floors in your base. And using this, I can get around, change the place, they're pretty easy to make, but, I mean, I'm sure you can figure out how to make it yourself. Now, over here is another simple machine that you can do, which, this is very simple for just getting rid of stuff or messing with your friends if you're under them. It's the easiest way to. So, over here is a little thing. I can open it up, just a little room, and in here I can spawn, you know, whatever I want. So, now it should be able to close. So, now we can close it. I'm going to leave it open for this example, which is this you can just hit this button and I can drop the stuff which of course just sends it back to the surface there we go now all that stuff appears up there you can close this up nothing you can do is you can just drop your friends in here and you can drop them into the surface okay well I'm now back up we can just close this thing up and we can head back to the surface. And by the surface, I mean surface level. And now we've got a few examples here, which starts with this and this. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the surface. And uh, I'm going to show you a bit of a danger. Oh, I'm placing Okay, so now, as you can see, I've set something up here, which are bombs. So if you have a friend who wants to get down here, and which in later I'll show you how to stop people from getting down here. 
this is a way that they can hurt you without you being there. You need to make sure that you have metal three as something protecting your base in its pillars. Now, if we can just see that if one of these explode, they can explode the pillars, even though these are under the ground and those exploded above the ground. Now, this also is good because you can stop your friends from coming by placing stuff underground, and then if you blow this stuff up from underground, it can destroy stuff that is above ground, which is very useful for stopping your friends from getting into your base. So, if you wanted to, you could use this for a lot of different things. Just having a base underground is generally pretty awesome. Nothing you can do is if you wanted to get under somebody else's base above ground, you could just you could use this to get under it, and you can then get up into their base just with a simple lift and a seat. It is very easy to get through this, and it works very well. So, as long as you keep that in mind, you can basically live down here and mess with your friends, attack your friends, and this works in survival mode as well. So, at least I think it does. Never tried it, but I've seen other people try it, so should work in survival mode. But, yeah. So now you can explore under the map. Still don't know if this has any extra way to actually get outside of the map through the gates at the very edge of it. But if I ever wanted to try that, that's for a different video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Nolan Cat you know, with a little bit different of a video, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe. See ya.